preferring my solitude in nature, I usually avoid weekends entirely, circumnavigating overwhelm with some slowness at a campsite, or catching up at a cozy library in a small town. But this Sunday morning, I had a feeling it was time to hit the road, only I would abandon any impulsive urge to do it all and instead approach my day with an intuitive, easy energy. This allowed me to scope out the area for my weekday itinerary while still catching a fun adventure along the way. Somehow, I slipped through the crowds and found quiet beyond the chaos. Seldom can one force perfection with rigid schedules. I find these moments of serendipitous stillness only upon releasing all expectation. Only then can I slip into that easeful flow, finding an empty trail without a sunrise start time having the day play out perfectly, without effort. So despite my head start on the day, I couldn't resist a couple of hours at the campsite I spied on the side of the road, but listening to this intuitive tug set the perfect pace for this seamless Sunday. After seeing my planned trail had a brimming parking lot, I happened to arrive at this preserve on the last day this orchard was open for picking, enjoying crimson cliffs as I chose my local produce, stocking up on the apple season I thought I had long since missed up north, only to conveniently catch it down south, apple store for a long time, and the late season prices were amazing. So I got a casual 5 pounds of apples to enjoy for the road ahead, and even made some friends who were also enjoying the abundance. I ended up on the trail in the quiet of late afternoon, which often offers more stillness than even the earliest sunrise start time. It's safe to say Mother Nature is the most brilliant artist there is, her masterpiece of earth and energy leaving each beholder both humbled and inspired. The colors and composition eternally exquisite, the rock carved in the most intricate designs, painted with the bright hues of lichen and dark streaks of iron.
this ant single-handedly pulling a sunflower seed shell. Oh no, homie took a fall. He was doing really good. I promise. Probably shouldn't have that anyway, but buddy, it's, it's not native. While my imperfectly paced day provided accidental perfection, I decided to offer a little extra effort for some serenity the next day. With the hope of glimpsing the bighorn sheep that roam these mountains, I tucked myself in early after sunset. Explorers saw this region as an impassable expanse of rippled rock. The washes offered the only passage through, so this region remained a pocket of solace for the native life, until the landscape was conquered and colonized. So now I enter in the quiet hush of morning, when wildlife may dare to roam. looks like it's melting. <laughs> I saw bighorn sheep. There were a lot of loud people around me. At some point I just like decided to let them pass me and I let them know on the way that if they kept their voices down they might see them. Um, but they didn't seem too keen on that. So I just lagged back a little bit and of course I saw me some bighorn sheep. They were so cute uh, but of course I do not have quality enough camera gear to capture them for you so by all means if you'd like to see more bighorn sheep yourself check out my patreon my ebook my stickers sports appreciated <laughs> but i recently learned that amplified sound whether it's you making really loud noises screams loud talking or you know playing music at a swimming hole can actually get you in trouble so when you use amplified sound you're actually scaring wildlife away from the one little haven we allow them to have in our world of cities and buildings and highways. So be, be cautious of your voice. I always try to speak in a hushed voice when I'm in nature. It's hard, I know. Sometimes I want to shriek about cute plants and animals too, but we do it so that we can protect these places. As the morning air warmed and the sun kissed the skies, the sandstone walls were cast alight in golden rays.
is a magical time in Utah, where the trees grow as golden as the land. These ancient giants are Fremont Cottonwoods, sentinels of the riparian areas that give lush lines of foliage to the desert landscape. There's something special about grounding in the wise presence of these great old trees. The naked apes beat me to the arch despite my best efforts. Melon! Ooh, she a felon. She a bad little beast. She's a melon. At least, sometimes I feel like a felon with these fly deals I be getting on the side of the road. This was like a dollar or two. It's fresh grown by veterans. <laughs> 